Can I talk to you for a second? Why is Apple making me switch back to Android? Here's something I've been thinking about lately, and it really has me feeling kind of wonky. The questions that's, that's twizzling around in my head is what Apple phones offer that Androids don't. Well, for one, Apple has talked about in the past about making a foldable device, but not necessarily an iPhone. And they're looking like it might be a foldable iPad at first, according to rumors. But if you Android has been making foldables for years and has given us the flexibility of having a curved foldable screen for watching content, which also gives you a better viewing experience, along with using multiple apps and split screen windows, all at one time on a bigger screen when you open it up, especially good when you're gaming. And then just to think about it, having a foldable phone gives you access to a stand to watch viewing content uh, and that's why I'm thinking of in December of buying my first foldable phone. I'm not sure whether I'm going to go with Samsung, the Google Pixel, or the new OnePlus open foldable phone. I'm still thinking about those choices, but I am planning on buying one and trying it out and see how I like it compared to the iPhone, which... Like I said, iPhones don't even have foldables yet. I'm ready for a more enjoyable option because I don't know when iPhone or Apple is going to come out with anything foldable within the, over the next few years. But what are the advantages of having an iPhone compared to having an Android phone? Let's think about this for a minute. Who actually has the perfect smartphone? Or you might ask yourself, what is the perfect smartphone? Well, I'm here to answer those questions. Well, to each person, it's a difference between both Apple and Android because each of us have a different preference on how we use our phones for right now. If I, like I said, if iPhone decides to come out with a foldable phone, then Android will have foldables and iPhone will have foldables. And I think this world will be a lot better place. What do you think? But I have to tell you what works for me and what's not working for me. Right now, yes, I love Apple iPhones, iPads, uh, all the Apple ecosystem. But I also love Android. And I like Android's versatility when it comes to playing games. Some games. Some apps is on Android that's not on iPhone. Some phone, some apps are on iPhone that's not on Android, which I think both should be available for both. But Samsung has their, their apps, Apple has their apps, and other companies have their apps. But that being able to, able to download or use third party or side loading, which Apple is eventually going to do sooner or later, but for now, got to stick with an Android too. I like iPhone, I like Android, so I want the best of both worlds. And why upgrade a phone every year just for one or two features when it's the software or the camera or the usage that we use for our phone? That's the most valuable asset in the phone anyway. Plus, if you really think about it, the thing that we use mostly on our phone uh, is the number one reason is for calling or either texting that makes more sense to me that's the whole purpose of having one anyway everything else is some just some extra wanting this some extra features and now we have social media social media has been around for a while but we never had it back in the days now what i want to do is start off and we're going to rate in a category from one to eight if you're ready, so let's get started. Number one, Apple's ecosystem compared to Android's freedom. You might see this in a different way than me, but each his own and how we use our iPhone. Apple's ecosystem to me and Android's freedom is, is a little bit different. 
Apple is more like a fancy dinner with a menu that doesn't change with no substitutions allowed. And Android's freedom is like a buffet where you can pile your plate high with all the tech toppings you want and crave. How will we rate that one? The first check I would have to say, I would have to give it to Apple because it just works most of the time flawlessly across all the devices. Number two, let's talk about the cool factor between both Apple and Android. iPhones have a tendency to not change from year to year. But like every three years, they get a change. Android gets a change either every year or every couple of years. Android gets a change to their devices. This check mark would have to definitely go to Android on this one. Number three, features. Apple's restriction versus Android's freedom. Apple users can control all of their devices in the ecosystem. And the App Store is more secure. And Apple's updates, we get them often, more often than Android. But Android users have the advantages of changing home screens, also using third party apps, like I said earlier, and side loading. This check mark would have definitely have to go to Apple and Android. This one, because they both have different advantages that we can appreciate. All right, number four, talk about ease of use. Both of them have use in advantages in multi different ways. Android might have just a little more edge than Apple does. And that's because Android has a little more flexibility than iPhone does. With more customization options than Apple does. But Apple is known for their user-friendly interface and the simplified design. Again, I would have to go with Apple and Android on this one. Because these past years, Apple has gave us more customization and android starting to copy apple now with the newer fresher ideas that apple is coming out with lately over the past few years now let's talk about updates and support android updates are not easily updated on betas yes they're good on the official updates but apple the ease of updates and timely rollouts from either week to week or every couple of weeks or every month are not so consistent as much as Apple's is. And it's a lot easier to do it on Apple than it is to do it on Android. Because you gotta say, well, you gotta say all Apple products usually get updated on the same day, but like the Macs and other computers and other stuff like that watches tvos they either might get updated or home pods they might get updated either the same week or the following week it's sometimes the same day and we we'll also get airpods they don't get updated as much as as fast as the iphones and the ipads do but they still get their random updates that's often when they're, and those are easy to update Found a few tricks on how to update them a little quicker because they still don't have an option to go and update AirPods. You would have to say Apple gets to check on this one for updates. Now let's talk about apps galore. Apps on Android are a whole lot easier to install compared to iPhone. Having a double click to download an app using Face ID or either a password and with android we don't have to do that you just download the app it just down hit the download no extra buttons press and it just downloads easy takes a little minute sometimes because iphone iphones do that ipads do that both have their advantages and disadvantages of what they can do and what they can't do but i gotta say with apple the games on apple they have more disturbances and more ads is like compiled when you're playing a game or when you're doing something. If you don't pay for it, it gets very annoying. 
Android on the other hand, they got a few ads. They got a lot more ads than they used to back in the days. But ads are not as intrusive as Apple is. But so I have to say, if I want to say what works for me, is that I would have to give it to Apple and Android. Apple has great games. It's Android. Android has some games or some apps, like I said earlier, that iPhone don't have. But they both have great apps, but with limitations. Think about that one. All right, now let's talk about phone excitement. Why Apple keeps everything the same? But it seems to have more overall accessories and cases. But it's still limited to what Android can do. By keeping it fresh with a variety of options. Built-in stylus pens. A new, and a new foldable option. And a, very, and a very easy way to use game controllers. I can use game controllers with, with the iPhone or the iPad. But it's, a, it's difficult to connect sometimes and it just gets frustrating. With Android, well, you know, with Xbox and PlayStation, they, they connect good because Microsoft and Samsung seem to be working together, or Android seem to be working together a lot more frequently than Apple does. But I find that the old Google game controller that went out last year or the year before, that game, this game controller right here, this one, this one seems to work flawlessly with all Apple products. I never have any problem with this. And I like this one because it's rechargeable. You can get a rechargeable battery on Android, but on the iPhone when playing games and stuff, the Xbox seems to want to roll around in a circle on a board when you're playing a game. And I never have that problem with, with, with this one. But... I guess I would have to still say I have to give both Apple and Android this one because there are different options for each. I would have to say they both have different options for each in their own unique ways. All right. Now, number eight, customization. Apple versus Android. That's the thing we hear online, on social media all the time. Android versus Apple. Apple is better than Android. Android is better than Apple. It's this big old controversy. But I don't really care about it because I use both. I like both. But certainly the difference in customization between Apple and Android. Ad Apple keeps their devices clean, sleek, and simple with limited tweaks for wallpapers, widgets, and apps. And it keeps our phones more uniform with a more user-friendly experience. Meanwhile, Android is like a playground. It's immense, offers a dynamic landscape of launches, widgets, and deep level tweaks, giving a user more control to be able to personalize our Android device or your Android device to your preference. Sounds like a winner to me. I would have to give this check mark to Android. Definitely. But in the end, it's a tie for Apple and Android. I guess both reign supreme and kings in their own unique way. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace!